Okay, just a quick video. Uh, March 4th, apparently, the second stage booster of this right here is going to hit the dark side of the moon, uh, according to the scientist. Now, I ask why. Why the dark side of the moon? Uh, is it an accident? I don't know. You know, I just find that highly ironic. They say the second stage booster is kind of caught between the gravity of Earth and the sun and the moon. And it's just going to just so happens, right? It's going to hit the dark side of the moon. So I find that a little bit ironic. Okay. We know NASA, I think what, back in 2015, uh, or it could have been further. Okay. That was me at NASA earlier today. Uh, you know, talking about this rogue rocket that is set to crash into the moon in a few weeks, you know, uh, early March, dark side of the moon. Now, let me read a little bit of this article, then I'm going to give you guys my overall opinion, okay? It says, in a few weeks' time, a rocket launched in 2015 is expected to crash into the moon. The, the fast-moving piece of space junk, it's what it is, okay, is the upper stage of the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. Uh, it hosted the Deep Space Climate Observatory satellite off our planet planet it has been cha chaotically looping around earth and the moon ever since and basically back in 2015 you know spacex they launched the rocket it didn't have enough fuel to get back to earth and it's just been just floating around up there for the past seven years and now it's set to to hit the moon i think that's highly you know ironic and uh just unusual okay it goes on to say the booster is tumbling wildly as it travels which adds some uncertainty to the timing and location of the predicted uh, predicted impact it is likely to occur on the far side of the moon okay now this guy here on twitter jonathan uh, mcdowell says for those asking yes uh, an old falcon 9 uh, an old falcon 9 second stage left in high orbit 2015 is going to hit the hit the moon on march 4th it's interesting but not a big deal okay again how is it not a big deal you know um i don't know it's like you know low earth orbit is basically a junkyard a landfill for, for planet earth and now we're just littering the moon but we've been doing it since the the what the early 60s we'll get into that okay the very first human-made artifact to contact the moon was the soviet luna 2 back in 1959 i mean God, this is crazy i mean the more i research this I can't believe, you know, how much junk we just littered the moon with, okay? Uh, it was only two years after the launch of Sputnik 1, the first artificial Earth satellite. The mission consisted of a rocket probe and three bombs, okay? We bombed the moon. Uh, one released a cloud of sodium gas to enable, or to enable the crash to be seen from Earth. The USSR didn't want the ground-breaking mission to be c considered a hoax, so basically they loaded this things up with with bombs so it could be seen from earth therefore you know uh, ruling out that, that it was a hoax okay uh, the other two bombs were spears of pentagonal medallions inscribed with the date and soviet symbols so basically uh, yeah they just littered the moon and, and uh you know put their 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 stamp on it as proof okay uh if they imploded as planned they would have scattered 144 medallions all over the lunar surface so this is crazy okay the soviet luna 2 back in 1959 scattered 144 medallions okay inscribed with their insignia as proof you know that they went to the moon and, and set off bombs i mean this is just insane to me so uh ebb and flow you guys know back in i believe 2012 nasa intentionally crashed you know two satellites onto the moon i mean look guys you know the more i read about this it, it's just so ironic to me because uh, the whole point of the falcon 9 going up in 2015 the one hurtling towards the moon right now was you know uh, for climate change and you know different problems we have here on earth you know space junk and debris but, but it's just ironic that as as they're doing this they're littering the moon but first they have to weave their way through all the crap in low earth orbit to get to the moon to drop this four ton rocket onto the moon on the dark side of the moon so uh we'll continue we'll continue uh let's see here uh the only other spacecraft on the moon's far side are the u.s ranger 4 probe which crashed in 1962 and of course we know china's uh, chang 4 lander uh is still up there on the dark side of the moon 
Okay, so let me just give you my overall thoughts here. Um, again, you know, when we're talking about all this space debris up there, you know, it's unfortunate that low Earth orbit has become a landfill for Earth. And people are excited about, you know, this uh, four or five ton chunk of metal littering the moon. It's absolutely crazy to me. But outside of that, you know, it makes me wonder, what are the odds of this, right? What are the odds of, you know, we launch a rocket in 2015 and it just happens to make its way to the dark side of the moon? I mean, we live in a big galaxy, a big universe, and what are the odds of this happening? I mean, it's kind of like hitting a bullseye on top of a bullseye and it's unintentional. Okay, they're saying this was an accident. You know, maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. I don't know. Um, but like, you know, I mentioned earlier in my video, I find it highly, highly ironic that this this piece of, you know, space debris junk, okay, is it just so happens it's going to hit the dark side of the moon. Uh, you know, I don't know. And we have the moon, um, what is it, reconnaissance orbiter that will take photos of this happening. You know, basically it'll crash in uh, March and then I think like maybe a few weeks later the orbiter will, will circle the moon and, and get photos of, uh, you know, the crash. And there's another uh, website, I can leave a link below, uh, they're going to go live and kind of show you know the rocket hurtling towards the moon with their telescope i mean it won't be visually very appealing but you can check that out if you want to so i don't know guys just a quick video i thought it was interesting i wanted to share it with you um you know i'm not a big fan of littering space the moon planet earth anything like that so uh, again i don't really understand why people are so excited about this so leave a comment below what do you think